Assalamu alaikum may peace and blessings of Allah be on all of you let me start by telling you a bit about myself i am fiza mahboob and i am the student of ps biological sciences today i am going to present about medicinal plants that why we can use these plants as a substitute for many medicines so that what is the content of these plants as is used in many diseases introduction medicinal plants possesses therapeutic diagnostic properties that relating to the healing of diseases or exert beneficial pharmacological effect on the human body or animal body medicinal plants are also called herbs plant that is the main statement herbs are the green parts of the plant and these are very softening nature so any herb of the plant which are used for the flavoring of food as a medicines and fragrances for the savory and aromatic properties that is present in these herbs with no specific vaccine or treatment available till now to fight coronavirus disease all that we can do is depend on our good health and immune system because prevention is better than cure in my presentation i will discuss about some importances of medicinal plants like senna leaves aloe vera basil moringa garlic ginger and black pepper first point that is senna leaves or senna maki lethal coronavirus has overtaken the world science hubs are trying their best to come up with a cure but the vaccine cannot be cre- created over time since the virus is very challenging hence people scramble to find the solutions one pakistani based in england dr nazir ahmed proposed the use of senna maki leaves for the treatment of virus he claimed that his 150 patients treated by using cinnamon tea leaves and most of the people concerned it has the most major sources of cinnamon tea leaves for its relief from constipation as we know that cinnamon tea leaves consist of laxative activity these leaves consist of anthracins that passes from large intestine in our body and resists reabsorption of water and electrolytes so that it will happens to pass loose stools and after it is it defecations and release constipation second one is anti inflammatory properties which help out uh, against the swelling of the body diuretic where the body is uh, frequently urination and it helps to wash out all the toxins from the body when the toxins removed from the body it absolutely improves our skin conditions After this def- uh, detoxification the toxins is removed from our body that cleanses our colon and large intestine in our body Aloe vera is an extraordinary medicinal plant and that consists of highly noted properties for skin care and digestive mu- mucus as well as the anti-inflammatory and antiseptical properties which protects our body from burning irritating and stinging its internal healing components with anti-inflammatory properties helps calm and cure digestive mucosa when it is damaged to help out these problems like gastritis heartburn digestive ulcers irritable colon all of these problems can be helped out can be solved from by using the gel of aloe vera the holy plant basil consists of two antioxidants like eugenol and limonene which help in the elimination of free radicals from our body and boost our immune system 
Apart from that, that it gives relief from cough and cold and boost our mental health, lowering pressure and cholesterol and blood glucose level. Moringa is also known as a miracle tree because it every part of this plant is storehouse of many important nutrients like mineral vitamins and essential phytochemicals it consists of two antioxidants like quercetin and chlorogenic acid which help in the moderating blood glucose level and lowering blood pressure it also consists of anti cancer anti inflammatory anti diabetic and antimicrobial properties the nutritional content of moringa is so high because it gives seven times more vitamin C than oranges, ten times more vitamin A than carrots, seventeen times more calcium than milk, nine times more proteins than yogurt, fifteen times more potassium than bananas, and twenty-five times more iron than spinach. Elsin is the principle of bioactive compound that is present in the garlic, which help in stimulatory effect on natural killer cell activity thereby boosts immunity power of one human being other than it consists of such a benefits that it lowers blood pressure reduces serum cholesterol triglycerides inhibits platelet aggregation possesses anti-cancer properties apart from that it consists of antibacterial activity Consumption of raw garlic is more beneficial than cooking it. All the bioactive compounds are present in ginger because it can treat hundreds of ailments from cold, cough, asthma, nausea, gastrointestinal complications, etc. It also reduces uh, cholesterol, increases lipid metabolism further to reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. Apart from that, ginger root contains a very high level of antioxidants, reduces oxidative stress, and it has anti-inflammatory properties. Black pepper is also known as a black gold, and that is key alkaloid component, which is called pepperine. That helps in better nutrients absorption, exemplary grisha, turmeric, along with many important health benefits. Apart from this, it consists of antioxidants properties which scavenge free radicals, antimicrobials potentials, gastroprotective activity, and also con control tumor growth and anti-inflammatory antidepressant activities too. Last but not least, immunity cannot be built in a day with inclusion of well-balanced diet, regular exercise and adequate sleep. We can all try to develop immune system and good health to face our day-to-day -day challenges and to wait to keep ourselves safe from various kinds of diseases and infections. Plant has been used for medicinal purposes long before prehistoric times according to World Health Organization, 80% people worldwide depend on herbal medicines for their primary health care needs because there is no minimal side effects. With that, I come to the end from my presentation. Thank you.